The Critter Sitter by Chuck Richards. Your Critter Sitter reporting for duty, announced Henry to Mr. and Mrs. Mahoney, his very first customers. They were picking up their kids from Camp Yippee Yahoo. Now Henry, warned Mr. Mahoney, our snake is an escape artist, so keep that dumbbell on top of his tank. Don't you worry about a thing, answered Henry. Critter Sitter is my name, and Creature Control is my game. Slobber Chops, the dog, wasn't the brainiest beast on the planet, but he immediately befriended Harry. Little Miss Perfect, the cat, considered herself the queen of cats and had no need for babysitters. The boa constrictor just flicked his forky tongue at Henry from behind the glass. That night, the dog took the critter sitter for a run around the block, whizzing past the gloomy mansion at the top of the hill. Mrs. Angora lived alone in the creepy house, and all the neighborhood kids thought she was very, very weird. When they got home from their walk, Henry closed slobber chops in the laundry room and then made sure all of the other animals were settled in for the night. Ah, see you later, alligator, screeched Peppers the cockatiel as Henry left for home. Early the next morning, the critter sitter was greeted by two goopy blue paws flopping over his shoulders. Ew, get off me, you big doofus. How did you get out of the laundry room anyway? Henry followed the blue tracks leading into the dining room. Holy smokes! The snake aquarium was open, not only open, but empty. All clues pointed to slobber chops as the culprit. A queasy feeling flooded over Henry. Would a snake eat a cat? Or a dog? <gasps> or a kid? Henry immediately checked the sinks, the bathtub, and the toilet. Then he followed the slimy trail into the laundry room. It was a disaster area. Henry dragged the dog out to the garage so he could clean up the mess. An hour later, Henry was ready to give the dog a bath. Little Miss Perfect yowled as slobber chops shook, 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 spraying sheets of soapy water everywhere. The wet critter sitter was relieved that she had not become a snake snack. Breakfast was late, so Henry opened a can of Kitty Delight. Next, he cracked open a box of crickets to feed Flip the tree frog. While he lifted the tank lid, the cat knocked the cricket box off the counter. Oh, that's just great, cried Henry. Suddenly, Flip escaped through the open lid as Slobber Chops jumped up and unlatched the door, barreling down the block in hot pursuit of a bunny he saw grazing in the yard. What do you think's going to happen next? You'll have to tune in for part two. <laughs>